More than 100 new jobs in downtown South Bend thanks to new businesses opening up shop. 13 businesses have popped up in the city, all of them locally owned and operated. New Center 16's Gabby Gonzalez has been following the story for us tonight and joins us live now from the newsroom. So Gabby, what kind of businesses are we talking about here? Well, Terry, they range from an art gallery to a natural wellness center, a few restaurants in the mix as well. What some of the owners told me is that the business incentives offered here in South Bend really got them to consider choosing this as a location for their own business. There are things like facade grants, the pop-up shop program, and the Riverfront District liquor licenses that help market the area to entrepreneurs. There's a new name on Washington Street. With already one location in Mishawaka, Wuchi Japanese has now put down roots in the heart of downtown South Bend. We can apply a called the Riverfront uh, liquor license that really can save us a lot of the money, but we didn't put those money in our pocket. Instead, they turned the former Wild Wings restaurant location into a chic eatery. We spend a lot of the energy to thinking how do we change it. Two dining areas and a colorful bar in hopes of bringing in plenty of patrons. It's a trend spreading through the area. Business after business opening its doors. Well, it's not every day you get to welcome a new business to downtown South Bend, let alone 13 practically all at once. So it's pretty exciting for us. Perry says the mix of restaurants, stores, and services is key to making DTSB as vibrant as it can be. And the goal is to have business interests go beyond this stretch of Michigan Street. Then you start to think about um, the areas maybe in the East Bank or the areas on Main Street or Lafayette and think about how that fits in the larger piece of the puzzle. Some of that is taking shape. Down by the Emporium building, people are coming in for more than food. A dance studio is filling up another new business. It's been a great response. Um, every day we're getting someone new and someone's just excited that there's something different in this area. And you got to see some of the remodeling that the folks at Wuchi Japanese did on that location. These 13 new businesses involved around $2 million in private investment here. And Gabby, 13, uh, that's a lot. Uh, any more businesses expected to be uh, coming in the coming months here? Well, I'm told there could be two more opening up before the end of the year. They were hoping to announce those today as well, but the planning for those just isn't far enough just yet. All right, but 13 is a pretty good start, I'd say. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, Gabby Gonzalez reporting live from the newsroom tonight. Gabby, thanks.